Assalamu alaikum viewers. Today we're going to talk about selflessness and some of the ways that we can adopt in acquiring this all important and very noble human trait. In this regard, I'd like to give five concrete suggestions. The first suggestion in this regard is let us dispense with things which are lying in our house that are of little or no use to us. Thus, we have books, medicines, stationery, bed sheets, towels, shoes, crockery, cutlery, pieces of furniture, and all sorts of things which might be of use to others but are little of new or no use to us. So let us keep regularly cleaning our houses and dispensing these things and giving them away to those who might need them. The second suggestion that I'd like to give in this regard is that let us save money to spend on the needy. We save money for our own needs, for the needs of our children, for future needs, but let us also save money particularly to spend on the charity and the welfare of other people. The third suggestion I'd like to give in this regard is that let us take up voluntary work, regular voluntary work, because this will instill in us gratitude towards the Almighty and also uh, tell us how blessed we are and it will make us feel for others and make us sensitive to the needs of others. The fourth suggestion I'd like to give in this regard is that we must read inspirational stories of people who are selfless and who live for others and die for others as well. In the very recent past, we have the stories and the living examples of uh, people like Mother Teresa or Abdul Sattar Edi and similarly many other people who live and die for others. And we must draw inspiration from such real-time stories. The fifth and final suggestion that I'd like to give in the regard is this is a little selfish uh, in its uh, inception. It is that uh, selflessness is actually an antidote to many of our worries. So if for nothing else, let us suggest to ourselves that selflessness will bring peace of mind to, uh, to all of us. Peace of mind, which is so elusive these days. If we live for others, if we die for others, if we work for others, uh, we will find that solace and comfort is finding roots in our heart, in our minds. And this, of course, is something that we must all cherish and relish. These are the five suggestions I would like to give, and I hope that they prove fruitful in acquiring this very noble human trait. Thank you.